All right, so in this video, I will show you how to configure TradingView so that you can go from a boring view like this to what I think is much more sexy, a view like this. Now, it really depends on you. Not everybody likes to have a dark view, but if you're using TradingView and you have been wondering how you can have a cool dark view, I call this almost a CNN style. I'll show you right now how to do this. And we're going through this step by step. Now, I assume that you already have TradingView. If not, go to tradingview.com. You can sign up there. It's basically free. You can sign up for a more expensive version, but you really don't need this. Now, out of the box, as you can see, it pretty much looks like this. Now, on this particular version here, I've already added a few custom indicators at the bottom, and we'll talk about this more of what these custom indicators are if you want. But the point is, I want to switch this to a much cooler dark view. So how exactly do you do this? Well, the first thing you will see that here in the upper left, you have actually these, this hamburger, these three lines right up here. This is where you need to go first and then switch the whole thing to a dark colored theme. And you see, it's a pretty much very much here at the bottom. So you switch this to a dark colored theme. So this already starts to look much better, doesn't it? So now you have a darker theme. And again, it's not everybody's uh, cup of tea. So here's a few other things that I like to do right now. In the top here, you will see a little gear icon. It's right here. You see this little gear icon. I want to push this because there's a few cool settings that you can do. And I want to show you how exactly I'm customizing my charts here. First of all, I'm clicking on symbol. And the first thing that I deactivate is thin bars. I do not like to have thin bars. And let me show you what exactly this does when we are deactivating this. You see right now, as long as this is activated, as you're zooming out, all of these bars are, are very, very thin. And for me, it's pretty hard to read. Once you go here on this setting, and deactivate the thin bars, here's what's happening. As you're zooming out, the bars are getting thinner. As you're zooming in, the bars are getting thicker. I already like this. So this is the first thing that I like to do here. The second thing, if we go here to appearance, so there's a few things that I like to do. The first thing that I like to do is to show session breaks. So I activate this because this way when you're switching to a smaller time frame, which I'll show you in a moment, you see where the day starts and where the day ends. So let me show you exactly of what this does. So let's say we are here on the NASDAQ and we are switching to a five minute chart. So when you have these session breaks activated, you see actually these cool little lines so that you see here's where we started today and have been going sideways. So I, I like these session breaks, but let's go back to the settings here and let's take a look at a few more cool things. I'm switching back to your daily chart. The other thing that I like to do is adding a watermark. By adding the watermark, uh, you see it here in the background. It actually shows you what symbol you are showing. See right here, it shows you on the chart that you're like right now looking at the NDX index. Another thing that I like to do here, for me, it's really hard to see. You can actually increase the transparency. And you see this way when you set it to 80%. Do you see in the background right now how it's getting lighter and darker? So I like to set this to around 80% because this way I can see what symbol I'm on. Again, it doesn't really matter if you're looking at a Tesla or if you're looking at an Apple. This way you see the symbol you see what time frame you're using and you see the name of the company. And again, if you don't like this, you can just basically omit it and don't have to worry about this. The other thing, and this is really important, at least for me, as I am getting older, I don't like these, these small fonts here. I don't know about you. You see here that you can increase the scales text. And this is what I really like to do. So I like to change this from a font setting of 12 to uh, probably 20 is pretty good. And you see, as I do this, how the scales are getting bigger and smaller. So you can set it to 20 or even 24. This way, it's really super easy to read. So this way, 
you can now finally see these darn numbers <laughs> that are usually so small. Okay. So another thing that I personally like to do, as you know, I like to apply the power X strategy bars. And in order to do this, instead of having here the normal bars, I am switching the whole chart to an area chart and then activate the power X strategy. This way the bars are colored in green and red based on the power X strategy that I like to use. Now you see that it already comes with a fairly nice shading in the background, but we can make this even cooler because now when we go on symbol, you see that we have the fill color here. And again, we can change the opacity and by changing the opacity, yeah, you see how you can make this more blue or less blue, or if you want, you can even use a different color and you can have it more greenish. If you like this, I personally prefer this blue. I like that. And I, I usually change it here to 75 or 80% because I think that this is a pretty cool look here. These are a few things that you can do. Now, the important thing is you want to make sure that you're saving your settings here. Once you have figured out the ideal settings that you really like, you can save them. You can do this when you are here in the settings and you see at the bottom, there are templates and you see, you can actually save it as a template. So it comes with some defaults, the black, the blue, the gray, not this one. This is one that I did the white. So these are a few, I have two templates here that I created for myself. I have uh, the original because I, I thought if I'm su switching back to the light mode, maybe I like the light mode better. I have that. And then I just right now created a dark theme. So you can save this here as a template. But I also want to show you a few other cool settings that you could use here if you wanted to. Because one of the things on appearance or was it on a symbol? Let me just quickly see. Yeah, this is actually pretty cool. If you want to see the high and the low prices of the, the time frame that you're looking at so that you want to see, okay, what was the high or the low of this time frame? You can activate it. And let me show you what happens when you do. So when you activate these high low lines, and I, I thought that uh, the values would pop up here automatically. Doesn't seem this way. Huh? I thought they did. So never mind. Uh, when I did it earlier, <laughs> I thought that it would show me here now the high as a dotted line you see and the low. And I do believe I'm almost certain that earlier it was showing me the values here. Apparently I did something else. So let's not worry about it. I also want to keep this tutorial really short and brief. And these are basically the settings that I do to go from a pretty boring layout like this to a much cooler layout like this. Now, as you can see, the other difference here that I have the volume bars switched on. So if this is of interest of you, you can simply display the volume bars and it's pretty cool. So I like this dark layout. I hope that this helps you. So if you found this cool and I talked about the power X strategy, and if you would like to learn more about the strategy, I'll link to some videos in the description and also here on the screen where you can learn more about the strategies that I personally use in my trading. Hope you find this helpful and I'll see you in the next video.